Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today is kind of a special video. I'm actually going to be creating one of my subscribers. I had a giveaway for 10k which was a little bit ago and for the rewards <laughs> I gave away a Sims 4 pack and I also said that I would create the winner in Create a Sim and make a video out of it. So that is what this video is going to be. My lovely subscriber, Lauren, she won the giveaway and she gave me permission to make this video. So I'm very, very excited to get into it. And I think I'm going to be answering some questions that you guys asked me as well on one of my posts. Um, I answered these questions on that cake video that I recorded that was like a complete disaster and I didn't want these questions to go to waste. So I'm gonna answer some in this video as well. So yeah, I hope you guys are excited. Let's get into it. Okay, so I will show you guys a photo of her. She sent me a couple for reference and I'll show you guys on the screen right now. So she's very, very, very beautiful. So I'm excited to make her. I hope I can do her justice. So I'm pretty sure she's a young adult and her name is Lauren. I'm not sure what her last name is though. I'm just gonna make one up. Sorry, Lauren. Lauren Stover. Okay, girl, let's get started. Let me strip this sim. Uh, really not a fan <laughs> of this at all. Okay, so I just wanna thank you again, Lauren, for um, subscribing to my channel and entering the giveaway. It means so much to me that you watch me and that you support me and I'm just very thankful. So yeah, it looks like she has beautiful, they're like greenish hazel eyes. Let me see what we got here. This is definitely not her eye shape either, but I kinda wanna find the proper eye color first. That looks pretty good actually, so does that. I think I'm actually gonna go with these ones because it looks like her eyes are like green with like light brown in them, they're so pretty. Okay, let me answer a question. The most li liked question is from Emma Papt. I'm so happy for you, you're a really nice and sweet person. Actually, you're the first YouTuber who's responded to my messages, aw. So keep going, my question though is how do you keep yourself motivated and happy? Thank you, Emma. Um, you seem like a really nice and sweet person too. Um, how do I keep myself motivated and happy? Honestly, it's really hard. Like, it's definitely not easy for me. Uh, there are days where I wake up and I'm just like, nah, <laughs> you know what I mean? But how I keep myself going is, it's like, I personally think about like the end game, like where am I going and why am I doing this? Like for what reason? And that's kind of like what keeps me going. It's really freaking hard to talk and do this at the same time, I'm not gonna lie. And this head shape is just completely off. So yeah, it's definitely not easy for me, but I just, like I said, I think about why I'm doing what I'm doing. What is the end game? Is it all worth it in the end? Um, am I gonna like look back on this moment and be like, wow, I should have done that differently or something like that. Cause that's usually what, what motivates me. Cause I think about all the things that I've done like in my past that I wish I had done differently and like, I hate that feeling, so. And I just wanna make like my family proud. That's like a huge thing for me. I just want them to be happy the way that I turned out, so yeah. That's like a major motivation for me too. But everyone has their own things that keep them going. You just have to figure out what that is for you. Also, do things that you like to do like that is such a huge thing to keep yourself happy is because if you just live your life doing things that you don't like like what is the point what is the point of living <laughs> okay this is so freaking hard i am not good at making people like i've said this before in my other videos okay yeah that looks a bit better i'm not sure what her nose looks like from the side though so this is tricky guys i don't even why did i do this 
Why did I do this? Why, 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 why? Okay, I think that's about as close as I'm going to get with that. Her mouth is a bit higher. Okay, this is definitely not her mouth shape, so we're going to change that. All right, next question. Um, this was the second most liked comment by Sam Sherwood Coster. Are you a part of the LGBTQIA or are you an ally? Can you make more Sims a part of the LGBT community? Be gay, bi, lesbian, or even transgender would help me feel more accepted as I am a transgender male and bi. Yes, I, I would love to do that. And I am not a part of it, but I'm definitely an ally. I believe that you should just do whatever you want without <laughs> being criticized because it's your life and no one else has honestly the room to tell you how you should live so that's how i feel about that and i would definitely love to incorporate more um, variety into my series but i honestly am not that knowledgeable in that whole situation that whole area of life so i do need to do my research first before i delve into that just so i don't offend anybody but yeah i would absolutely love to do that thank you for that comment I love this question by Belvedere Green. You always comment, I love you. Since you mentioned working for Disney is your dream job, if you could redo any Disney movie, what would you change about it? What are your top three dream places to visit? Favorite video or PC games growing up? And are you into anime or K-dramas? Okay, real quick, I'm not into anime. I've never watched anime before because I'm not, I don't know where to start. <laughs> I would like to, I just, I don't know where to start, so. Hey, that's a pretty good mouth for her. Um, let me address another question very quick. What are your top three dream places to visit? I would say probably like Japan, Scotland, and New York. I want to go to New York really, really badly. Honestly, I want to go everywhere. I want to go everywhere in the world. <laughs> Um, if you could redo any Disney movie, what would you change about it? So I probably wouldn't redo any Disney movie because I love Disney movies. They're my favorite things ever. But I've noticed, and a lot of people have noticed actually, that Disney princesses, they're always like relying on men to save them and do things for them and all that kind of stuff. And like they always... Their end goal is always to like be with a man or whatever. Um, there's an exception, um, Moana. She didn't re she didn't end up with a man in the end, but she did need like Maui's help to do um, whatever. Yeah, I'm just getting way too into this, but yeah. And, th and then the fact that like their parents are like never present. It's kind of a weird thing in Disney in Disney movies like. It's either like a single parent, and if there's both parents, they're like shown very briefly or they die. I don't know. It's kind of like a strange thing about Disney movies, but there isn't really much that I would change. I love them. The Silver Gamer says, keep going. You're doing great, girl. You are so close to your fans, and I love it because no other YouTuber or even famous person has recognized me as much as you do. Thank you, that's so sweet. Um, anyways, questions I have. What are the electronics you use, like computer and phone-wise? Also, what softwares do you use to edit and record? I'm starting to think of my own, I'm honestly thinking of starting my own channel, so I'd love to hear tips and any other add-ons you got. I know this might be a lengthy comment, but I just wanna say, I've seen your growth and I'm so happy for you. Once again, congratulations on 10K. And here's to many more. Thank you so much. It's so nice. Um, so I don't, I have no idea what my computer is. My friend knows a lot about PCs, so he kind of told me what I should buy. Um, and then he built it for me. So that was really, really helpful. Um, and he, yeah, so I have no idea what my PC is. I just know that it's a gaming PC. Um, I use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit because <laughs> I'm a graphic design major so I'm pretty familiar with all of like the Adobe products. And as you guys know, I 
I have another YouTube channel. I've had that channel for about four years now, and so I've been editing videos for like four years, and I just kind of taught myself. <sighs> so yeah, that is how I, that is what I used to edit and how I learned and all that kind of stuff. Okay, and then I use my I use a, a program called Snagit to record my screen. It is sixty dollars, but if you just go on their website and say that you're a student, you can get it for thirty dollars. Um, I think you really should start your own channel. I don't regret it at all. And like the hardest part about starting your own channel is the starting it part. So just do it. You won't regret it. I didn't. But the hardest part for me was definitely just like that initial start because it can be nerve wracking. And like the way that you film your first video is probably going to be cringy. But once you get over that like initial fear, then, you know, it starts being good. So just do it. Do it, do it, do it. Let me know when you do it so I can subscribe. Any ideas for this year's Halloween costume? Yeah, so Carlos and I are going to the... Um, the Halloween party at Disneyland this year and so I we go every year and I usually dress up as something Disney so I'm going as Dr. Facilier from Princess and the Frog this year <laughs> I like going as a male character I just think it's so much fun so yeah that is what I'm doing we need to change her skin tone she's pretty fair um I would say probably that one. Yeah. What computer do you use? What phone do you have? I have a iMac 27 inch, the Retina display one for like my graphic design and editing. And then I have a gaming PC for my computer. And then what phone do you have? I have the iPhone 11 S, iPhone 11 Pro Max, whatever it's called. <laughs> this one. I love it. I love it. It's a great phone. Ooh, I love this question by Northern M. Do you ever feel that people you know personally think you're a bit childish or weird for playing The Sims and putting it on YouTube? My friends say it's like playing dolls all over again, so I'm hesitant to start posting videos. You have no idea how many times this thought has crossed my mind. I'm pretty hesitant on posting anything on like my Instagram about it or or anything like that just because like I have all of my friends from my personal life on my Instagram and I don't know like I do feel that way I do feel like they're like silently judging me but at the same time it's like <laughs> I'm at this age where I'm I kind of just don't care what people think about me anymore because like this is me and it's just it's just not gonna change so if you don't like me and if you don't like the things that I do and if you're like gonna judge me then that's on you I don't need you in my life and I don't really care because it's like a waste of time like you are you keep that you don't have to change for anybody like if someone doesn't like you for you then they just don't have any place in your life so if you have anyone in your life like that, seriously, cut them out because it's such a waste of time. Trust me, I have so much experience in this and I wish I had like realized this earlier, but you are you, you are beautiful, you are into what you are into and never ever be ashamed of that. So yeah, don't ever feel weird. If you wanna post Sims videos, post Sims videos. Like there are other people out there who are way older than you who like the Sims. Like. It's just a game. <laughs> it's not that serious. All right, this is a question from Riley Morbeck. Sorry, I'm kind of like going back and I need to like learn how to multitask. I love watching your vids. They are so entertaining. I also love how you actually take our suggestions and use them. But here's my question for the Q&A. What's your favorite season in Sims and real life? Also, what is your go-to style when making Sims? My go-to uh, or my favorite season in The Sims is fall my favorite season in real life is fall <laughs> so yeah ah so yeah i love fall i am definitely an autumn type of person um and then my go-to style for sims 
Uh, I kind of dress them like how I would dress or how I wish I could dress if I was like a bit skinnier. So yeah, it's just, I like, I like trendy things. I like fashion. So yeah, that's kind of what I base it off of. Okay, so Lauren has beautiful long, it looks like black brown hair and it's kind of wavy. And it has a side part. So let's see. It's more wavy than that. It's like this, but I need it to be alpha. <laughs> I just do. It's kind of like this, actually, but uh, that's like too brown. Ooh, there's this one too. That's pretty. Oh yeah, and this is like a good color right here. I think that her head might be a little... There we go. That's better. Okay. This is a comment from Yellow Daisies. Hello, love! She says, congrats, you deserve it and so much more. I love your videos and your personality. Your videos are always so much fun to watch. Thank you. You're so nice. As for questions, who are your favorite YouTubers at the moment? Um, Deligracy, <laughs> Claire... Plumbella, I freaking love Plumbella. Blah, Plumbella, she's hilarious. And favorite Sims 4 pack? Seasons. Athalia Elsa says, congrats, Sav, you deserve it, keep going up. I wanna ask you about how you manage your time between life, YouTube, and game. Um, so, <laughs> I don't have any free time. That's how I manage it. <laughs> uh, like, if I have like a couple hours in between something, I'll like film really quick and I don't know, it's just like, I just try and manage it as best as possible. It's, it's difficult. Jelly Torres asks, what are you taking up in college? My major is graphic design. She also asks, any plans on playing a new Sims challenge? Yeah, I wanna do Not So Berry, I wanna do a university LP, and I also wanna do BitLife Controls My Sims again. I miss that. We're just gonna go with this hair for now. I might change it later, but as far as her style goes, she says, mostly just high-waisted jeans with vans and a cute shirt or an oversized t-shirt depending on the mood. I can hella relate to that, okay. So let's get her into some high-waisted jeans. Um, let me answer another question. What's it like going from, or Amanda Clemmer says, what's it like going from a small channel to a bigger channel so quickly? I've been here since 2K and I'm even surprised. Honestly, I still consider myself a small channel, um, but it's honestly crazy watching the number go up so quickly in such a small amount of time. Like I. It's just weird. It's weird and overwhelming, but like, I'm just so happy and so thankful. It has changed my life in such a positive way. So yeah, I'm just really happy, really thankful for you guys. Can I get some good high-waisted jeans, please? Oreo asks or says, congratulations, Sap. How tall are you? I'm 5'7". I'm actually pretty tall for a girl. Um, I wish I was shorter though, like so badly <laughs> mk says can you please tell me where you get your custom traits from um yeah i'll actually a lot of people ask me this i'll link it in the description of this video so go check that out if you are wondering all right high-waisted jeans check vans check and then a cute top hmm Hmm, <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to choose a top that you hate. That would be really sucky if you don't like the way your sim turns out. So let me just... Hmm. What is a shirt that like everyone will like? Ah, it's so hard. I don't know. In the picture she sent me, she's wearing a... It looks like a tie-dye... Um, what do you call those things? What do you call hoodies without a hood? Oh my gosh, why am I blanking out right now? Crew neck, holy crap. Okay, a tie-dye crew neck. So do I have a crew neck in this game? Let's see, let me see, let me see. This is a crew neck. 
Um, but it's kind of basic. I can't. Ooh, an oversized tee. How about that one? <laughs> um. Oh, this is a crew neck. I wonder if she would ever wear Adidas. I don't know. I don't know. This is so hard, guys. Why did I do this? It's like I want to do you justice, but it's hard because I don't know much about you. Here's a crew neck. It's super oversized. Oh, look, there's a tie dye, some tie dye ones. Or it's more like gradient, I guess. Hmm. Avestor says, so happy for you. Thank you, love. Do you see yourself doing this for a long time? And would your BF ever play The Sims? I definitely see myself doing this for a long time. I love it. It makes me so happy. And I love The Sims. And I'm never going to stop playing. So, yeah, definitely. And would my boyfriend ever play The Sims? I don't know. I always ask him if he wants to, like, make a Sim or play with me. And he always says no. So, maybe I'll do a video with him where he, like, makes a Sim and, like, builds a house or something. That would be kind of fun. Subtly Explosive says, so as you know, I s just started my own YouTube channel. Oh yeah, this is my homie from Twitter. Hey, any advice you have for me and other small YouTubers? Also, would you ever want to do a collab? Yeah, sure, why not? I'm still a small YouTuber. <laughs> um, but advice, I would say, um, use face cam. I've told you this, use face cam just so people can get to know you and your personality. And also constantly upload like that's like a huge thing with youtube if you constantly upload videos like they're going to recommend you to other other um viewers because they see how hard you're working and yeah just just keep going don't 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 get frustrated okay zim simmer girl i love you i love reading your comments you are the absolute best she says i would love to know how long does it take to edit your videos <laughs> It takes me two hours to film and like two and a half to three hours to edit. What made you start making Sims videos? Um, well, I watched a lot of Sims YouTubers and I played all the time and I had my own other YouTube channel. So I had the means to start. So I was like, why not? <laughs> so yeah, that's why I started. What do you want to do with this channel? Is it just for fun? Or are you hoping to blow it up even more? Cause you could, cause you could def be the new huge Simmer. That's so nice. Um, it's just for fun. It's just like a fun and creative outlet for me. So I don't know. I don't really have any expectations from it. I'm kind of just playing and I like playing. Wu asks, what do you enjoy most about being a YouTuber? Honestly, like filming a video and editing it and like being so excited to um, like upload it and show you guys is so fulfilling and exciting for me. I don't even know how to explain it. But I just, I love like seeing your guys' reactions. I love that you guys are so invested in my Sims and in my stories that you like comment these long comments and leave me suggestions and like things that you think should happen. And it's just so, so, so exciting that people are excited about my videos. And I just love reading and replying to your comments. So yeah, you guys make this experience like so much fun. So yeah, it wouldn't be as fun without you guys. So yeah, that's that. Okay, we really need to focus on this little lady here. I just don't know what shirt to pick. I mean, I'm leaning towards this like big comfy crew neck. I don't know, it just looks so cozy. I wish it was a little bit shorter though. That would be perfect. Should we just do this one? No, nah, I'm just gonna go with this one because it doesn't have a logo on it. <laughs> you could not like Adidas and I would never know, so. I'm gonna s look at some more hairs just because it's fun. Let's see if I have anything else that's like better. So there's this one, um, which is pretty good too. Um, there's this one, a little too short. Honestly, I kind of feel like hair is like a make or break thing when you're making Sims. If you get the hair wrong, then it's not gonna look like the person. <sighs> this hair is pretty close to the pictures that she sent me. I wish it was a little bit wavier, but it looks like her. All right, she's wearing some beautiful glossy pink 
Is it lipstick or lip gloss? I can't really tell, but let me see. Let me see if I can find one that's pretty similar. That's pretty close. Woo! All right. I can't tell if she has blush or contour on, but... Ooh, pretty highlight. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, guys. Here's Lauren. I think she looks really, really cute, and I hope I did you justice. I hope you think that it looks like you. Looking at your picture and looking at the sim, I mean... It's pretty dang close! I hope you think so too. So yeah, I'm gonna randomize your traits. I don't know your traits, but I'm gonna randomize them. Let's see what you get. Hates children, quick learner, and top-notch toddler. Okay, and we're just gonna make you a renaissance sim. You wanna be good at everything. That's kind of like a well-rounded type of thing to choose. And yeah, actually, let's give you one more outfit. I'm gonna change your shirt for one of them. Let's do this one. It's cute. I haven't used it yet. Okay, yeah, let's do this olive one. And then we can put you in maybe uh, white vans for this outfit. Boom! Okay. If you would like to access your sim, I will have it uploaded to the gallery. My gallery ID is this right here. All right, Lauren, comment down below. Let me know what you think. I love you guys so much. Thank you for submitting your questions. I'm sorry I couldn't get to all of them in this video, but I really appreciate that and I love reading all of them. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!